Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have fraction strips here. We need to find a fraction that is equivalent or equal. You almost see the word equal within that word equivalent to two fourths, but nothing is labeled. I don't see two fourths anywhere here. So first we need to take this diagram here. We need to we need to add some fractions here. All right. So let's start by counting how many bars are there on each line. So we need to look at each line separately. So there's one there. There's two there. All right, so there's three, there's four. We do skip five, so we're going to go to six. We skip seven, we go to eight, okay? After a while, it gets a lot easier to just represent the fractions that have an uh, e even number of parts. So this first one up at the top, this is one whole. So everything is going to be a part of this, and you notice that they all go to the same the same length, right? So this second row is two parts. So we're going to write uh, the numerator is going to be on top, right? So that's going to be the number of parts. And then the denominator is going to be on the bottom. And this is going to be our total. So this number of parts is really the number of parts that I've chosen, right, to, to highlight there. And so, right, we're looking for two parts out of four. So I'm going to make each of these unit fractions. Okay, so unit fractions are when you have a numerator of one, one over something. So there's two parts here, so each of these is going to be one half because there's one part out of two total. And I'm going to kind of work my way down here. So here are my thirds. So I'm going to get one-third, one-third, one-third. Then I'm going to get my fourths, which that's what I'm looking for, my fourths. All right, so I got one-fourth, 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 and one-fourth. And if I want to finish it out, right, I've got my sixths. So I'm going to use my unit fractions. This is how we properly label these fraction strips, because now we could use these to find equivalent fractions. So we need to find a fraction that's equivalent to two fourths. And there's actually several on here. Only one of them is going to be an answer selection. So let's go and look at our fourths. So here's our fourths, this line right here. And I need to find two fourths, all right? So I'm just going to take, here's one fourth, and then here's two fourths. I'm going to go ahead and just shade those in since we know that those are my one-fourths. So I've got two-fourths right there. I need to find something that's equal to that. Well, since everything starts on the same line here on the left, right? It's kind of like when you're measuring something. You always put the zero at the beginning of where you're measuring. Well, think of these fraction strips like that. So now I've got this line right here, and I'm going to draw a line straight up. Look at all these that are equivalent, right? So this one right here, it's equivalent, goes to that same line. So one half, I'm going to put it right here because you're going to find a pattern. Then there's my two fourths, okay? So one half equals two fourths. But look at this one right here. I also found one, two, three sixths. And I also found down here, one, two, three, four eighths. Look at this pattern. The numerator, one, two, three, four. Look at the denominator, two, four, six, eight. Right? So here's my fraction, two fourths. So any of these three that I find can be equivalent. And if I were to extend my drawing into smaller and smaller fractions, I can find more and more and more, like five tenths and six twelfths. But you see that we find here F, one half. 